Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday on FIBA 22 inside of Team of the Group stage. And that means since we didn't have it yesterday, we are expecting today a mini release of some extra Team of the Group stage cards that should be put into packs today, right? That's a new thing that EA has been doing. Just about every single promo this year is doing a mini release to try to keep the cards in packs fresh, I guess, and to add some new things in, maybe to get some people to open a few more packs uh, on the latter parts of the weekend. So I want to talk about the mini release of cards we could be seeing today, content we could see today on Sunday, as well as this big time showdown SBCs, the two SBCs that we saw yesterday, right? We talked about them. We knew they were going to be coming uh, and they impacted the market a lot. A lot of center backs are down in price because people sold the center backs they had to go do this SBC. So I want to talk about that market impact, the way that fodder is going and lightning rounds, which I'm going to start off by talking about lightning rounds as we get into the stuff that's in packs, because even right now, I mean, again, uh, last night when I was recording the YouTube video, they did this as well. And there's a hundred thousand coin, uh, ultimate, a uh, hundred thousand coin, not ultimate packs. That's the 125s. The 100 K lightning rounds are going on at 4 AM or two, four, 3 AM UK time, whatever it is, 10 PM Eastern right now. They did this last night as well. So it seems like EA this year at FIFA 22 has a new schedule for lightning rounds. And when they drop these uh, packs into the store on a promo weekend, right? This is again, the first weekend after black Friday. So we're kind of getting a sense for, uh, how they're going to be releasing these lightning rounds. I believe that on Saturday, they released lightning rounds at 12 PM UK, which is also a really random time. But if you're EA, I mean, if, or I guess if you're a consumer and you're thinking about the way the EA runs this game, it makes sense, right? They put out more lightning rounds. They know that people love those. And as you can see, right, the number that is right over here, the community limit, the number on these packs is it's going down slowly, but people are buying them, right? So people love lightning rounds and EA knows they can make a few extra bucks, you know, off of those being released into the game. So I expect to see more lightning rounds today on Sunday. That's another thing uh, that I do think these team of the group stage cards are going to get more supplied. Now, again, the pack weight is very low from what we were surprised to see that it was for sure early this weekend. And then the pack weight really has not changed. Um, December 3rd as of 6 p.m. GMT. So still 2.8% out of a 100K pack. That has not changed at all. The pack weight is down for sure uh, from what we thought it was going to be. But that is not going to stop EA from releasing more cards into packs and more lightning rounds. I 100% 100% expect the 50K, 100K, 125, and maybe even the 85 plus star pack lightning rounds again today on Sunday. There's going to be some more pack supply, of course. And that's going to be highlighted by a mini release. Now, these are not official card stats that are being released and put into the game today. But these are the players that we expect to see. Uh, Bruno Fernandez, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Anthony, and Toko Kabi, right? Some very interesting items, of course, uh, with Bruno and Trent being the biggest two names. But Anthony, of course, with those air to busy links to the Holler SBC, uh, to the Graven Birch Road to the Knockouts card, even Toko Akami's item looks pretty dope uh, for a left wing in the League One. Nothing insane, right? But a cheap item that looks, you know, usable at the very least with some pace. Uh, I do expect to see three to four cards probably. I would expect it to be these four uh, released today on this game. These are cards that were leaked previously that were not included in packs yet. So that is, I think that's like the biggest piece of content that we're really expecting today on Sunday, right? So other than that, what do we expect today on the game? You know, we've had two days in a row of player SBCs. I know that the Holler SBC is not that insane. We had PK and, uh, Nicholas Sule yesterday. I don't know if we're going to have another player SBC today. We could, right? Sometimes they start off the weekend with three days in a row of SBCs. Uh, you know, this could potentially be a time uh, where they could drop another team in the group stage SBC, maybe for a conference league player. I feel like there's only one conference league card that has been uh, released. It's Batim, Bat Bat Batheim, uh, I think is the only conference league card that we have uh, right now. So I don't know if we'll get another one of those uh, today as an SBC or maybe even throughout the rest of this week, but we could have another just kind of uh, player SBC for a team of the group stage item potentially uh, today as well. Now yesterday, with along with the normal 
uh, SBCs that we had with the Sule and the PK, we had a 50k pack untradeable, which is very intriguing that EA would drop an untradeable 50,000 coin pack. Now, this costs about 10k to do. Um, if you have a few things in the club, makes it a little bit easier. But of course, people are paying crazy money to get this SBC done. A lot of the lower tier market went crazy yesterday, right? I mean, I saw people selling some like you know, uh, less than 81, 82 rated gold cards for like five, 6,000 coins as people are going and doing this pack uh, and this SBC. And I think this was probably a very strategic move by EA, you know, trying to put out a 50K pack, you know, you know, getting some fodder into people, people's clubs, right? A 50K pack, it's going to have what, an 83 or an 84 plus guaranteed? I think it's 83 inside of that 50K pack. Uh, and already people had opened a lot of saved up packs over the weekend with not a ton of insane SBCs out since a lot of the Black Friday SBCs expired. These PK and Sule SBCs, I think, are being completed by a lot of people right now because there's really not too much else to do unless you did the Moments Duo uh, or haven't done the Moments Duo or you're going to do Sebastian Holler. I guess there's a couple of Player of the Months and a couple Icon SBCs that you could still do, but there's not any big SBCs right now that people really that most people would want to grind towards, right? A lot of people are maybe even saving fodder for the Vinny Player of the Month that is potentially uh, coming later on this next week. But I think that what EA did with these two SBCs, it was perfect timing because they knew that people have some fodder in the club. I myself, I've got some extra SBC fodder in the club, usable to put into these types of SBCs. And they made these two SBCs very interesting because these are two cards and right when i heard the leaks about sule and pk i knew that ea was going to juice these cards up decently well and make them at least interesting to think about um because how often do you get to use nicholas sule or even gerard pk in fifa right pk is again famous for the um scream spc in fifa 20 and this card does look decent but it's just it's not insane it's just good enough for where people especially if you think about the potential upgrade these cards could get i think for sule the upgrade looks the best on this type of card right i think most people would expect bayern to win as well especially with uh barcelona losing to betis yesterday um it just seems like still bayern even if they rest a few players because they are like through into the knockouts already confirmed and they've won three games already the last three games right the uh sane card has already gotten upgraded plus one uh on the road to the knockout so i think sule is like the favorite to get the sbc uh upgrade but again that's how these cards work if you guys did miss it these uh showdown cards get upgraded by the winning team gets a plus two overall and the if a draw were to happen both cards would get a plus one so for the first showdown sbc of the year it's kind of a w right these are out for the next couple of days the sbc of course expires before the game so that you can't just wait to see who wins the game and then go do the sbc for the upgraded card he is going to have a little fomo basically kind of implemented here and if you want to do one of them or both of them then you have to do it before the game is actually played but again the reception in the community i just think that the way that the game is structured right now with people having some extra sbc fodder and sbc cards in their club these cards at 130k for about both of them right 130 140 000 coins for both of these items was pretty well received you look at the thumbs up on both these cards sule has a few more thumbs up than pk does and if you look at the sbc upvotes uh 75 upvote for pk and an 87 percent upvote on nicholas sule now when you have th this is what i really want to talk about today is these cards impacted the market a lot and it wasn't really in the sbc fodder range right a lot of sbc cards didn't go up that much 83 spiked for a quick minute and they're now back down to almost you know back under a thousand coins per card just a little bit over uh same thing with 84s right 84 spiked in the moment as people went out and they did the pk and sule uh and then you've seen fodder kind of chill back out with again continual lightning rounds and supply coming on to the game yesterday but where you really saw the biggest market impact from these cards was other center backs on the game a lot of people sold center backs they had in their clubs to go out and to fund doing these sbcs now this is a two-fold thing right people are selling center backs right that's going to make a lot of other center backs on the game go down which is exactly what we saw but also if people are doing these sbcs and they're being they're very again well received and a lot of people are doing them 
then what's that also going to do? That's going to make complementary links to these cards rise up. These are the number one and number two most popular cards that people are linking these new items to. Alfonso Davies, his gold card is doubled in price, and this Rule Breakers item has basically doubled in price as well. And Ter Stegen for the links to PK, of course. This card has gone from like, uh, he was actually 75k on Friday, now he's 140,000 coins. And to be completely honest, with SBCs with such high demand like these two, these guys are probably going to just keep going up a little bit more as the hype is just all in the, these SBC cards right now at the moment. So you've got a mixture of things happening, right? With SBCs like this, and that's what I want to kind of break down today is, let's say your center back that's in your team, like, Let's say you had center back Scrinny R from this brand new uh, promo that was out just a couple days ago, Signature Signings, right? The Signature Signings Scrinny R went for about 160,000 coins. He's down 20K to like 145,000 coins, right? He is in a different league than both of these SBCs that were released. And, you know, the Chiellini SBC is going to be going away. The Scrinny R, the Signature Stars cards, they were very supplied through the packs and the, the lighting rounds and stuff on Black Friday. So as you can see here, there's still some of these that are like first owner tradable. These are not in packs still, but some people still might have these in their club as they've just recently gone out of packs. But for some of these center backs that have dropped in price, there are going to be rises back in my opinion on the most meta ones the most popular ones what i'd be doing if you know as long as we don't have a huge market crash in the next couple of days a great example of how this happened earlier on in this year was when they released the gelson martins signature signings sbc right one of the uh, other favorite right wings in league Un with great links and a lot of hype on held di maria right numbers up di maria this guy went uh, from he was actually about 230,000 coins or 220k when Gelson Martins was released and he dropped all the way down to like 180,000 coins in price and look where he is now back up to 230,000 coins so as I'm taking a look through the market right now there's a lot of center backs that are down in value Millie Tao is one of those in, in particular uh, I mean this guy was like 545k last week I think right now he's like 480,000 coins, maybe even lower than that. This to me hasn't dropped that much. 479, I mean, he's down like 30K. He's down like 30K, but there's 25,000 coins tax on that card. I know that he also links to PK, and so people might be trying to use Militao and PK together with the, you know, Ter Stegen card. I don't like that one as much, but as I look through some of the other cards that have dropped down in price, one that really catches my eye is Klosterman, right? Klosterman because this guy was like 170 180,000 coins and he's literally dropped like 40k he's 140,000 coins let's take a look at this graph right now when the Sule SBC goes away yes people are still going to have that card in their club they're still going to want to use that item but he is no longer attainable right and yes this guy was 180k I remember seeing him at almost 180,000 coins but yesterday he dropped from 160 down to 136 and he hit high of like 164, but I did, uh, you know, this, this guy's really dropped off a lot, right? That's that's a pretty sizable drop off on a card that is very popular for his links and for, again, this is a green link to uh, the Nkunku card that is so popular this year in the game. German links in the Bundesliga as well. So this would be a card that if he would go back to 136, like that price that you saw there, people saw that was too low and he got back, bought back up a little bit. That's the kind of thing that I'd be looking for, maybe even into this weekend a little bit further, as if the content isn't that insane or that crazy, you might see some of these center backs still maintain pretty low prices. Rudiger, right? Some of your Prem center backs, this could be a really, really good opportunity to get involved on in a couple of them if they've dropped off enough. Rudiger went from 350, 360 down to 320. So if this were to go like 320 flat again, I would probably get interested in an Antonio Rudiger card. Um, and then, you know, take like Upa Meccano. Where's Upa? 46,000 coins for an inform Upa Meccano with the great links that he ca that he has uh, and so popular of a card that he is. He was 60K, dropped all the way to 46, back to 48. You know, in the mid to low 40s for a card like this, I'm talking PlayStation prices at the moment, but like maybe even in, in 40K flat on Xbox, this would be a card that I would expect to bounce back a little bit because the Sule SBC, again, these SBCs are only out for a couple days. And after this, people are no longer going to be able to buy Bundesliga center backs. They're not going to be able to buy Sule, right? They're not going to be able to buy PK. So a lot of times what you see is 
stuff that gets panic sold because of an SBC, if it's still meta, if it is still popular, and people want to use it in their squads, they will still, that price will kind of rebound back up, especially if it's an out of packs card. But some other cards that dropped were actually team of the group stage cards, right? Like the Marquinhos team of group stage dropped off, the Tiago Jallo dropped off a lot. I, click, I clicked on the wrong card. Uh, where is Tiago Jallo? That's the one I wanted to see. Uh, he's back to 358 at the moment, but look at this card's fluctuation. Uh, yesterday, he was 539K. Of course, people sold this card heading into 6 p.m. He was down at like 450. He actually was down at 350,000 coins, rose back to 416, and is now back in the 350, 360 range. Now, this guy has been significantly overpriced, and there's going to be more supply on these cards today on Sunday as we do have the squad battle rewards and, again, more lightning rounds and stuff like that being open today on this game. But that was a that was a big drop, right? And even some of the like icon center backs, some of the icon center backs have been down in price since these leaks came out that these SBCs were coming. Look at Rio. Rio was 790, like 800,000 coins. The leaks started coming out for PK and Sule on like fr Thursday and Friday. He's down at 700,000 coins flat, right? I think Baby Cannavaro has been impacted as well. 530k. Again, he was 600,000 coins on. Thursday before these leaks started to come out. Uh, one more that I've seen as well as dropped off a lot is Baby Desai, right? And it's crazy to, okay, Desai, no, he's still pretty low, right? Because he was 900K on Thursday. Now he's down in the 780s and 790s. Um, it, it's it's crazy to see some of these drop. He was 750 yesterday? Goodness me, that's crazy. So center backs across this entire game are getting hurt right now in price because of these SBCs and because of the, basically what you call, um, supplementary goods, right? A, a new car has come onto the game that replaces an item that was formerly very OP and very, you know, popular and, and very used. And people are now choosing the new item over the old one, but this new item is only here for a certain amount of time. So um, that is, that's why I would just encourage you to watch around the center back market a little bit uh, on the game and try to find, you know, some of those icons, even like the kind of that's dropped off. I know they're impacts, but they're icons, right? So I do think that unless there's a huge market crash in the coming days, which unless EA pulls something out, you know, crazy content wise, I don't really expect that to happen. Um, unless there's a huge market crash, I would expect to see some of those center backs, especially Premier League ones, you know, maybe like that Marquinhos inform, some of the most popular and meta again, it's all about the popularity and cards that people have used so much already in this game that are out of pack special cards in particular, I think you would see some of those bouncing back into the next week or so um, as the Sule and the PK hype kind of dies down a little bit. So you maybe saw the peak of that panic selling on those center backs um, yesterday, right after they were released. Like seeing this Tiago Jallo, I know he's in packs again at the moment, which is making his price go down a lot more. Um, but for the out of packs ones, you maybe saw the peak of that panic. But if you see prices get really low again today on Sunday, that could be another opportunity to pick some of those center backs up as a investment or buy one for your team, maybe sell it later on this next week. So I hope that helps out a lot kind of because that kind of movement on this market happens a ton, right? We try to explain things when they happen and as they happen, but you're going to see this happen time and time again on this game. You know, it's not just with showdown SBCs. Like again, we talked about the Gelson Martins SBC um, that impacted the market a lot. Anytime there's a good value SBC that is released, right? It's got to be good value because if people are not doing the SBC, then you're not going to have any of those market movements happening. But since these are two players that don't get used that often because they're not meta, EA made them meta. It's very interesting for a lot of people. And, you know, the price isn't half bad. People are crafting them with fodder they already have in their club. So it's got some hype, right? And that's why you're seeing the movements happen on this game. I'm really just, I'm curious to see if EA has any other crazy content planned today on Sunday. There's really not any leaks, not any information that we hear or any cards or SBCs we're expecting. Uh, I'm just expecting the mini release and some more lighting rounds and some more packs. And uh, yeah, the EA just kind of wants it to chill, I guess, right now. They really don't want this market to crash. That is what it seems. So if anything changes, of course, we'll be covering it and we'll be watching that very closely. But it just seems to be like a good market for a quick flipping at the moment, right? Especially with these center backs that have moved or any of those cards that link, right? Again, we talked about the Ter Stegen. We talked about the Alfonso Davies. Uh, those cards could continue to go a little bit higher today, potentially. I know they're up so much already. Uh, but again, if there's really not too much else going on, these cards are really rare and 
people are using and linking those new items with these cards. So again, they're up so much in price, but I mean, really the, the only thing stopping them is EA dropping some more content and the gameplay demand like going down. So I honestly see like this Ter Stegen maybe going up a little bit more today. Um, you know, the Alfonso Davies maybe going up a little bit more. So keep an eye on some of that stuff as well. The links to Sule and PK will be very interesting for a slight rise again today on this game. I think upgrade packs will be tomorrow um, and then more content, team of the group stage, maybe road to the knockout related later on this week. So that is the video for today, boys. All right. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It has been Nathan Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>